Diva from company name Yuhi. You most of the time think about Melodic House or Melody Techno, but did you know that you can actually use it for making some really amazing trend sounds like this pad? Or this super lush lead? Or this classical sounding bass line? Let's deep dive into how to make it. This is a three part series of videos where I will be showing you how to use Diva to create some amazing trance sounds that I just showed you. We're gonna start with a pet sound. Let's not wait for anything. Let's start with pulling in an instance of Diva. When you look at this, it's very scary at the beginning, but what we're gonna be working with is actually this very special digital oscillator model. When you look at here, it says multi-saw, and that's something that you can see on a classical JP8080 or 8000, and it's basically a super saw. If you pull this multi all the way up, let me just put a cutoff all the way up so you can hear it, this is how the pad's gonna sound. So it's already something. It's a really good beginning, but now let's turn it into a very nice, smooth and lush pad. Now to make it a little bit more high quality, we're gonna click on this little knob here. In our pre-filter, we're gonna choose the HPF Pre and move it slightly up over here. In the filter section, we're gonna go for Cascade Mode. It's one of my favorites. And we're gonna put the cutoff somewhere around here and raise the resonance just a tiny little bit. We change the mode to Clean and then we change all of these envelopes into Digital. Now you might be asking, why digital? Why not analog? Well, when you think about the old JP80, even though it's an analog synthesizer, it still is very digital. And Diva has this engine done really well, so when you use the analog, you will lose that little sparkle that you can hear on those uh, special sounds coming from these old synths. So that's why I'm using digital, so we have that uh, noisy sparkle on top. Now to make this pad nicer, we're gonna need some more attack over here. We can put the decay a little bit lower for the sustain all the way up and add lots of release. The first envelope is actually assigned by default to amplitude or volume, and the second one we use for anything you desire. So I'm gonna just select over here envelope 2, pull it all the way in the middle and adjust this envelope over here. I'm gonna explain why it is in a while. So let's raise the attack a tiny little bit, give it some decay, shorten the sustain and again give it some release. This time I want to go crazy so let's go for a very long one. Let's have a quick play to hear what's happening right now. And this is what I'm after. but we're still not done. It sounds very much mono. So what can we do to make it sound much more stereo? Well, the first thing we want to do is change the voices to 12 over here and then add heaps of reverb. I'm gonna start with this effect number one and select plate one and we're gonna keep the plate two. Now we're just gonna adjust these knobs so we're happy with it. Let's do some, you know, movie magic and let's speed it up. And while you're watching the screen of me moving the knobs, make sure to subscribe and, uh, you know, hit that bell button before you go so you don't miss the next two episodes where I'm going to be doing the classical out of the blue lead and a bass line from Four Strings Take Me Away. All right, let's have a play. Let's see how this pad sounds now. Now remember in the beginning I was talking about this envelope too and what we can do with this. Well basically if you raise it slightly up and put the cutoff down, the pad is gonna have the nice little tickle in the beginning. By the way, the sound is part of my new upcoming sound bank for Diva that I did together with my friend Jerry aka Occult Frequencies. Go check out his channel. The bank is almost finished and it's gonna hit the shelves very soon. If you want to make the sound a little bit more stereo, there is this little trick that you can do over here in the amplifier section where you can choose the stuck index and move this pan knob a little bit to the right and it's gonna make the sound way more stereo. But now we just heard it from the right side. And why is that? Because the stack over here is set to 1. If I change it to 2, now we have two stacks alternating in between each other, creating that lush stereo effect. Okay, when you use Diva, you have to be 
careful about the accuracy. If you set it to divine, your CPU will most likely die. So when you work with something, you can set it to draft and for the offline, which means when you're exporting, you can set it to best and it's gonna be sounding the best and the lushest possible. But for now, let's just stick with fast so it sounds a little bit better for the video and let's play. This is the final pad. <laughs> And that's it guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and before you go, consider subscribing and hit the bell button so you won't miss any future episodes. In the next episode, I'll show you how to make that classical Out of the Blue by Ferry Corsten lead sound and after that, the four strings Take Me Away bass sound. These videos are coming soon, so stay tuned and see you next time. Ciao! By the way guys, if you're still watching, make sure to check out my Patreon where I already uploaded all these sounds for you to play around with in your projects. That's the link. The link is there. Click it. No, it's there? I don't know. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> Love you guys. Ciao.